Oh, hi everybody, here we are. We're just heading down onto the North Road roundabout and we're going to head north, taking Jack out to his, um, one of his favourite little spots, the little river spot, and we're taking him out for a bit of a run around. But we're going to call in and uh, get some fuel, so I thought we'd give you a little bit of a run around in, in Albany as well. Just off to the left here are the Soccer Grounds and Sports Centennial Park. And also a little bit further up here is the Agricultural Centre which has the display sheds and uh, agriculture equipment for people to look at when the um, shows are on. And the next roundabout we come to is Lockyer Ave that turns off to the left and this runs all the way through town to the top of York Street where the big pine tree is. Ulster Road turns off to the left and heads out towards um, Oyster Harbour. And just off to the left here is a large park area used by travelling shows, um, circuses and the like. And also now is there is a new boating lake for model boats which is just off to the left as well. The next turn off here to the left takes you up uh, Sanford Road which is more the industrial, it's, um, it's more the commercial, uh, industrial trades, shops, plumbing, electrical, things like that, car parts and supplies. And still continuing on our left here is the sports ground, you've got athletics ground. By this time of the year I think it's cricket still, but it might be Australian football rules now, I'm not sure, uh, um, Aussie footy. But there's a shopping centre coming up on our right, which is the IGA shopping centre and also a couple of petrol stations before we hit the big roundabout at the top of North Road and Albany Highway coming into town. And for anybody that's watching in the UK, yes, they do undertake here. Um, I can't understand why, but yes, it gets done all the time. We're approaching the big roundabout now at the top of um, North Road, so we'll get into the right hand lane and get ready to go past two exits and out up Albany Highway heading towards Perth, but we're not going to Perth this time. I reckon this will be the best place in Albany to sit and watch car accidents. About 50% of the car accidents in Albany happen here, I reckon. There are five intersections on this roundabout. The one directly to the left is um, Albany Highway going into Albany. The one that we're coming up to near is, is Hanran Road, which goes down to Frenchman's Bay and the harbour. Now, this is Albany Highway here, but if you go around to the next one, it's the Great Southern Highway, South Coast Highway. And the South Coast Highway turns off here too. Now, at one time they would have been connected, I imagine. Also along here are the car yards, caravan place, just the first one. Then you've got all the car yards, Toyota and Fords and all the way along here. Now, this is the main road leaving Albany, heading towards Perth, heading north. And um, it's about 420 kilometres to Perth. Speed things up a little bit until we get to the fuel station. So oh, here's the new Liberty petrol station, uh, we're going to fill it with diesel, not petrol, and maybe see if we can grab something to drink and some food. I'll go for a little drive and then I'll take Jack to his favourite spot. I'll just speed this up by 15 times, you can see how busy it gets in this place.
Because that makes me feel tired just watching that. Oh well. Fuel's just about filled up. I'm heading in to see what's in the shop. Well, here I am, empty-handed. Um, there were so many people in the shop waiting to get served at the food counter. I decided not to bother. We'll pick up something else on the way to Jack Spot. So as we leave here, we'll continue to head north and we'll take the Link Road, which is up by the Albany Airport, and that will take us down onto Chester Pass Road, which is the South Coast Highway. So we come up to the intersection here, this is where the, the link road will fit in. The link road that runs from um, South Coast Highway will be extended past here and will connect on the South Coast Highway on the other side of town. So instead of trucks having to travel through Albany to get to the western side of Albany, they'll be able to come up this link road and bypass the, the, road, the town altogether. Where we are at the moment is the a flight path for the planes coming into the airport. The end of the strip is about 100 metres off to the OR left hand side. When the Royal Australian Air Force is down here doing manoeuvres and practising, they bring some um, fighter planes down, or fight, fighter training planes. And I usually come up here and try and get some photos of them landing and taking off. Now we're just coming on to Chester Pass Road, which as I suppose said before is the South Coast Highway. It's about um, maybe three or four kilometres along here to Jack's little um, river spot, which he likes. It's usually fairly quiet here and he can run around in the trees and scratch and do whatever he wants to do. And I usually just sit in the, in the bars and have a coffee or have something to eat. Once we start um, to travel, we'll be using this road quite a bit. This road heads out to um, the Stirling Ranges and also heads out to the wheat belt, hence you see a lot of wheat trucks and cattle trucks heading this way into town. It also heads to Kalgoorlie, Esperance, and ultimately to head towards these estates across the Nullarbor. Jack's already starting to get a bit excited because he knows we're uh, pretty close now. We turn off here to the right and we'll head down through these trees as a little dirt track and we end up in the, um, on the nice little riverbed which I think we've seen before. You've seen I've done a little, um, a little drone video down here. For those that uh, haven't seen the video I'll put a little link um, in the description below and you can pop and have a look at that one too. Now let's hope there's not too many cows down here. Oh, there's one getting ready to come out. You can only get um, two cows down in here, so if there's, um, if there's another one already in there, it's not worth letting Jack loose. We'll see what happens. There's a little car park here. There used to be an ablution block and um, little seats and tables and things but they've had a big clean up so we'll just pop down here the river is right in front of us and we'll just turn off to the, the left here if we can there's not another vehicle here ah, so here we are we've got the place to ourselves some people fishing but Jack will be all right having a run around I think Uh, 
I decided to play it safe and um, put Jack on his lead, take him for a walk. He'll be happy with that, I think. He's a happy little puppy most of the time. He's even better when he's sleeping. <laughs> Now the young guys say they're not catching much, but I had a look in the bucket and they've got a couple of nice reasonably sized bream there, so that'll be nice dinner for them when they get home. Jack wants to get off the load, but he can't. Maybe it's time to move on and we'll um, see what else we can find happening. Okay, it's time to reverse out of here. We'll reverse past the bottom of the hill, then we'll turn up, drive up the hill, back onto the main highway. So here we are back at South Coast Highway and we're going to head up the hill here heading still heading um, east. So you've got to be really careful here um, the trucks come barreling down the hill and uh, doing 100 kilometers an hour or oh, 80 kilometers an hour I think the speed limit is. Um, if you pull out in front of them they don't give them much chance to stop. Just up here a little bit, we're going to um, take a, a right down on Bonacord Road, which will take us down to um, Nanrot Road and down to the river, another river spot that jo Jack likes. But I don't know if we'll stop there because we, we, it's on our way home. A lot of traffic here, I don't know where it's all come from, but we're taking a, a right hand turn just here. I'll cut all the boring parts out of this road. Part of it is quite nice to drive through, um, and some of it is just this um, pasture land. And we'll reconnect with it when we get down onto the um, Nanarup Road uh, and the river. Now we've cut out all the boring bits, or oh, the bits you've probably seen too much of already. Um, but here we are heading down towards the river now. Lots of little farmlets and little um, homes here. A fairly nice little area. So here we are approaching the Nanarup Road and we'll just take a right here and go down the small hill and we'll take a left into the car park and Jack will have his second little run on the river in one day. Really is being spoiled today, the little bugger. So here we are at the Lower King Bridge Reserve. There's toilets and um, barbecue facilities here quite nice for families. There's also a little sandy rocky beach on the river here. This is the, the King River where we were a bit earlier at the uh, little river where Jack spot was. That is the Upper King and this is the Lower King River. It all runs into the estuary that forms part of the Oyster Harbour uh, and Emu Point complex.
just have to be very careful driving on here with the buzz because the um, extra weight in the back of the buzz if the wheel spins at all it just digs a hole and then I'm stuck last time I came down here or not last time, time before I got stuck and luckily there was a four wheel drive in the park there that um, managed to drag us out but I just had to be very very careful when we enter here not to spin the wheels so while Jack has a run around and I sit in the buzz and have a coffee I'd just like to thank you all for watching and please remember to like and subscribe if you would like to leave us some feedback in the comments good or bad we don't mind it helps to promote our channel on YouTube and on Facebook so until next time thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all again thanks everybody for watching I hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe so you get notifications when new videos uh, are put up to see Okay, thank you very much. Bye.